Ever feel that like mid afternoon slump hit? Oh yeah. You know, where you're just like drained. Totally. But uh, ever notice how it feels even worse when you're like slumped over your desk? Yeah, definitely. It's like your body's practically telling you to feel worse. Right. And that my friend is a perfect example of what we're diving into today. The mind body connection. Fascinating stuff. It is. We're talking about how tuning into those physical sensations, you know, the ones we often ignore, mm -hmm. can actually give us this, like, whole new level of control over our emotions. It's amazing how much we overlook that, right? Totally. And to help us explore this, we've got a really cool text as our guide today, one that really dives deep into this mind-body link. And it especially focuses on, like, younger people. Yeah. But honestly, the stuff in here, it's universal, you know? Oh, absolutely, yeah. No matter what age you are, if you've got a body and a mind, this is for you. It's true. To get ready to become like your own emotion scientist or something. I like that. Right. So, okay, this text, it starts with this really relatable example about this kid, uh, Jake. Okay. And Jake, he's got major test anxiety. Like the thought of a test would send him into a total... Oh, I know those people. ...deer in the headlights situation. Yeah. But he learned this technique. And it totally changed his game. Oh, I want to hear this. Right. So basically, he discovered this thing called grounding. Mm -hmm. And it's like super simple, but really powerful. Okay. He just like focused on physical sensations, oh, he did. like feeling his feet on the floor, okay. noticing the feeling of his shirt against his skin. Mm -hmm. Basic stuff, right? Mm. But it was like hitting the brakes on this like runaway train of anxious thoughts. Wow. Okay. So. Instead of worrying about the test, he's, what, thinking about his socks? How does that even work? Right. So basically, our brains, they're kind of hardwired for survival, you know? Mm -hmm. Right. Like, way back in the day, if you felt anxious, yeah. it was probably because, like, a saber-toothed shiger was about to pounce or something. Right, so. so your body would kick into this whole fight-or-flight mode. You're right, right. Pumping out adrenaline and cortisol. Your heart rate's going crazy. It's right. you're ready to deal with that threat. Right. Got to run from that tiger. Exactly. Yeah. But the thing is, these days, most of our anxiety, it's not about actual tigers, right? No. It's about tests and deadlines and all that fun stuff. Exactly. But our bodies, they don't always know the difference. Right. So we get this, like, surge of all this energy, all this anxiety, but no real outlet for it. Right, right, I see. And that's where grounding comes in. Right. Because by focusing on these physical sensations, it brings us back to the present moment. Okay. And when we're present, we're not off on some, like, mental hamster wheel of worry. Right. And that shift, it actually engages our parasympathetic nervous system, which is, like, the opposite of fight or flight. Oh, okay. It calms everything down. Interesting. It's like tricking your brain into thinking, Wait, maybe there isn't a tiger about to attack me after all. Maybe I can chill for a second. I see. So it's like a mental reset button. Exactly. Based on physical sensation. Huh. So this isn't just some, you know, self-help fluff. Is there actual science behind this? Oh, yeah. Totally. Like, They've done studies using biofeedback where people can actually see their physiological responses happening in real time. Wow. Okay. Like, you know, their heart rate, their breathing, all that. Okay. And it turns out. When people consciously focus on things like slowing their breath or relaxing certain muscles, mm -hmm. they can actually change those readouts. It's pretty amazing. Wow, that's really something. So that makes total sense for like dealing with anxiety, right? But what about other emotions? Like, can you actually feel anger in your body? Oh, absolutely. Think about it. Yeah. Have you ever been like cut off in traffic? Oh, yeah. Who hasn't? Right? Yeah. And suddenly, like your jaw is clenched, your fists are tight. Yes. Maybe you even feel this like surge of heat in your face. It's true, yeah. That, my friend, is your body's anger response in action. Wow, and I never even thought about it like that. Right, we just like go with it. Right, yeah. But the cool thing is, once you start to recognize these physical cues, mm. it's like having this superpower. Okay. You can actually catch these emotions before they spiral out of control and like turn you into a road rage monster. I like that. That's good. Yeah, that's a good superpower to have. Right. Or like, let's say you're in this really stressful meeting and you notice your shoulders are like creeping up towards your ears. Yeah, yeah. Instead of just ignoring it, you can consciously relax your muscles, take a deep breath, right. and boom, you've potentially changed your whole experience. 
Interesting. So we're talking about interoception, right? Yeah. Awareness of those internal sensations. That's really cool. It's like unlocking this secret language that our bodies use to communicate with us. You yeah, know? totally. It's been there all along. Mm -hmm. We just haven't been listening. And the best part is, it's a skill that anyone can develop, right? Exactly. It's not like some people are born with it and some aren't. Yep. And the text gives some really great tips for like how to actually start tuning in. Okay. Like what? Well, it's pretty simple, really. It starts by just paying attention. Okay. Like throughout your day, just take a moment to notice how different emotions actually feel in your body. Okay. Where do you feel it when you're stressed? Mm -hmm. When you're happy, is there a lightness in your chest? Or sure. The more aware you become, the more control you gain. It's like you're no longer just at the mercy of your emotions, you know? Uh. You can actually start to work with them. So it's not just about thinking your way to a better mental state, it's about feeling your way there. That's a really cool way to think about it. It's the mind-body connection in action. I love it. By tuning into your physical sensations, you can actually shift your thoughts, your feelings, and ultimately how you show up in the world. It's powerful stuff. Absolutely. It really is. Now, next time I feel that afternoon slump coming on. Yeah. I'm going to try a power pose instead of reaching for another coffee. I'd love to hear how it goes. And for our listeners, I'll leave you with this thought. If our bodies can so profoundly influence our minds in this one area, what other hidden superpowers are we overlooking? What else can we tap into just by paying attention? Ooh, that's a good one. Definitely something to think about. Until next time.